Billie Jean King was the premier women's tennis player of her time, a six-time Wimbledon singles champion whose warm and candid personality and emotional style of play helped revolutionize women's sports. Bobby Riggs was a talented trick shot specialist 30 years past his prime, a con artist with the wiles of a carnival huckster. Together, they fought the battle of the sexes, a contest that matched the sublime against the ridiculous. A long game as Bobby Riggs fights for his whole hustle. On the night of September 20th, 1973, 30,000 fans were at the Houston Astrodome, the largest crowd to ever watch a tennis match. Riggs entered the dome that night on a rickshaw pulled by female models. Not to be outdone, King made her entrance carried in by four male bodybuilders. They proceeded to the tennis court where King left little doubt about which gender would carry the night. The match was broadcast on ABC and Howard Cosell was the lead commentator. And the second goal as well. There is no good time for a double fall, but there can be a disastrous time, and that may have been it. Third match point. Oh. Bobby Riggs gave his opponent her due after the match. I would say Billy was too good. I played my game. She didn't let me play any better. She was on top of me. She handled my serve beautifully, uh, hit her overheads well, and volleyed extremely well. And Billy Jean King summed it up this way. I love tennis very much. I wanted it to change ever since I started in the sport. I thought it was just for the rich and just for the white. And ever since that day when I was 11 years old and I wasn't allowed in a photo because I wasn't wearing a tennis skirt, I knew then that I wanted to change the sport. And tonight, a lot of non-tennis people saw tennis for the first time. I don't even care what kind of match it was. Billie Jean King won a total of 39 Grand Slam titles in her championship career. But her victory in a mere exhibition match against Bobby Riggs turned out to be more deeply symbolic. One small step for a woman one giant leap for womankind.